Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as you're coming in. Show support to the channel. If you haven't already, smash the, um, uh, smash the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content. Excuse me. So somebody may be a little bit choked up right now, okay? Because they can't say the proper words that they want to say. So ancestors, please close any other door other than the highest white light and come in and bring us a good reading, okay? So if you haven't already, my beautiful collective, soul tribe, gang gang, my newbies, my in-betweens, don't forget to like as you're coming in. It helps to build the algorithm and shows me that I'm hitting. Okay, so let's see. Ancestors, let's dive right into the juice and see what the juice of the reading is. Look at this. This is why somebody is choked up. Because of all the spell work, it's fucking backfiring is what it comes down to. There's a lot of fucking spiritual thieves because I got that download and people are mad, mad because you, no matter how much fucking energy work, manipulation, spell work, they try to send to you, you still have blessings on blessings because of your anointment. And that's why people are fucking all caught the fuck up. <sighs> because they know that they're a spiritual thief and you're still doing well. In spite of all of that, because God, creator, source, sees that these people tried to take you out and get you fired. Ho, ho, ho. And they're mad because you still got blessing. Damn, that's a burn. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Transformation and a death. I'm telling you, somebody even tried to end you or dead something for you. Fire get put out. It is what it is. They tried to end you, take you out. Whatever. Anyways, they're salty as fuck. Why are they salty as fuck? Because you ended the motherfucking cycle. That's why. You deaded this situation on these motherfuckers and now they're salty as fuck because they can't spin the block. They wished you were stuck. It is what it is. They did this all with manipulation and magic, mind you. I don't know. It's like these spiritual thieves. Spirits gonna end up ripping, off, ripping everything from right out their fucking hands because it's judgment time, guys. The cords are being cut and karma is playing out. You are going to get the happily ever after because people are learning that karmic lesson. A lot of fucking regret for not following their path and not reflecting on their own issues. Yeah. Love is not coming in for a lot of people. But you got wish granted, guys. You worked hard for the position that you are in and you are a master manifester and you are extremely powerful. You don't have any handouts. You ain't taking no fucking handouts. You're doing it for yourself. Somebody's tried to take you for granted. It's like they wanted you to be there for them, but heaven forbid they ever be there for you. And that's why these people are going through major karma, because they're spiritual thieves. And they need to respect you, motherfucking gangsters, what it comes down to. Because the ancestors are smacking them right in the motherfucking face. And at the end of the day, you're still going to fucking win. Karmic lesson, guys. People should learn to mind their motherfucking business. Or else they get all the stuck up in their motherfucking head. It is what it is. You want to keep people stuck? Well, then you're the only one who ends up getting fucking stuck. These people cheated you out of something really fucking good. Whether this is a relationship, a love, a friendship, even just like, you know, have, even like, you know, making sure that your kids have a good life. Like, people are fucking disgusting. And like I said, they're learning hard lessons because they're all going to motherfucking hell. Spirit is ripping everything out their fucking hands. Yep. And now somebody's going to feel homeless. They're broke, busted, and disgusted when they wanted you to be broke, busted, and disgusted because they wouldn't take responsibility for their actions. Now these people, these karmic people, are having a dark night of the soul. You push them right into fucking overdrive. You are pressure. And they're paying the price for coming up against you. Karma is at play, bitches. Heart of the deck. For these two flaves people, I'm telling you, they're one way to society, but then they fucking, they're a whole different kind of creature in real life, behind the fucking scenes, trying to do all kinds of dirty, dark shit to you because they're mad that you're the fucking star. Well, you can't help that. You, you were born with this anointing. Yes, they tried to take it to, from you at birth, but at the end of the day, you still got that shit. Trying to get it to focus. Oh, it is what it is. I hope that she's. I am doing the best with the equipment I have. <laughs> and honestly, 
it's really about the message, okay? Somebody is coming in with a bouquet of flowers. They want to come and give you your flowers. But that is only because you are the star. You are very playful. You give people opportunities to be playful with themselves. But people didn't want to give you your flowers. They wanted to treat you like fucking trash. Stork, heart, and letter. Somebody fucking, it could have even been somebody who birthed your mother, father, or whatever, as you may remember, somebody who was very of your heart and the fact that you are the messenger. Since birth, you are the messenger. And these rats, these fucking mice in your house, they're two faced They're unsupportive. They play in your face the whole time they want to take your motherfucking place. All because of your heart. They can't take your place. They don't got your fucking heart. That's the problem, guys. People don't realize that these people, these people are seen as mice, as rats, they're trying to fucking eat up all your fucking work and call it for their own. Or they're trying to claim they're a good person and always there for people, but then they're not. They're only there for themselves, and that's why they're all having emotional breakdowns. They don't have to be homeless, guys. It's just they ain't got no motherfucking soul. They sold that shit out long time ago. And they're mad at you because you never did. You went through the trials, tribulations, and the heartbreak when it came to your home, your vessel. Somebody wanted your home to be all fucked up. They wanted you to be homeless, but you ended that cycle. You ended up, I'm telling you, all the chains are fucking breaking. All the cords are breaking. If you were attached to somebody, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically, whatever this is, guys, you are detaching from this. And these people are going through major draw, uh, judgment. They need to respect your gangster. They need to respect your anointing. They need to respect your ranking. Or they get everything taken from their hands. Because clearly they did. They tried to take you out. And now they're all up in their fucking headspace because they can't find a solution to their problem. Their problem is you. They can't find a solution to that problem because they can't take you out. You are a threat to these motherfuckers because they're not divine and you are fucking divine. I'm telling you, you call it right the fuck out. Eight of cups and you walk the fuck away from this situation because there was no solving anything. It's like hitting your head on a fucking brick wall. There's no point of having conversations with these people. They're never going to grow up. They could be 50, 40, they could be, you know, 60, they could be 80. For fuck's sakes, they're never going to fucking grow up. There's people out here who are like 13, who are fucking more mature than people who are like fucking 36. You know what I mean? So, shit is what it is. You can't be putting people down because of their age, because that 13-year-old can teach you something more than a 70, 80-year-old person, because you don't know what's on that person's life. You don't know where they get that information from. And somebody is very, very, very intimidated by where you get your information from. Because look, it says, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energies. These people can't forgive. They have no healing energy within themselves. So what they do is they look for the external world to heal them. And then when that doesn't happen, they're mad. Because they ain't got no fucking divine guidance. It says... The search for meaning of life, consider an alternate approach. Surrender, surround yourself with white teachers and friends. These people surround themselves with the company that they are. It is what it is. And when people are seen as something different than what they are, they will team up and go against you. Only because of your progress, because of your spirit, because you are a good guide to others. You are a good role model. And these people are gatekeepers. They ain't helping nobody but their fucking self. And you're the star. You have creativity. You have renewal. You're inspirational. You're spiritual. You're tapped in. You're sur you have serenity all by yourself because you kind of got, you know, the light from the darkness. You have to be grateful for all these fucktards because you did. You moved away from them. And as soon as you moved away from them, you've seen your potential because you no longer were around these people, these karmics and this cycle to say that you're like them. You're nothing like them. It says there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. This is it, guys. And if you see in this card, this woman or man, take it as it resonates, the worlds can be flipped. As soon as they walk away from a situation or as soon as you walk away from a situation, you're walking right into some kind of beautiful relationship, partnership, friendship. But this is what these people have tried to block from you. They try to cheat you out of this relationship, try to keep you in some kind of relationship of convenience, something that would, you know, uh, fit their ulterior motive. But you had the strength to persevere and conquer all of these people.
They wanted to get you fired and put out? Well, guess what? They're fired and put out. That's the world, guys. Ending of a cycle. These people are going through hell. And it's because a very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. I'm telling you, they're fucked up and going through hell because, yes, they did try to send you dark energy work. They did try to dead you. Send you even death magic, which is fucked up because, like I said, the spiritual thieves are getting caught the fuck up. So let's hope that they didn't go that fucking far because, yo, there's going to be a lot of fucking deaths. It is what it is. I said what I said. The strength is there. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. You have forgiveness, but that's only because you're the magician. You are the real manifester. Like I said, the major manifester. And you have this, these people had wish fulfillment, wish, wishful thinking, thinking that they could ever keep you stuck. Everything is being backfired. They're in their head because they did. They try to cheat you out. They try to act like they gave you a good life, like the best possible outcome. But they were all karmic. They wanted you to be homeless. They wanted you to be two-faced. They knew at birth that you had a good heart and that you were the messenger. So they did anything to make sure that they were rats, like energy, energy vampires. Do you see that? My table just fucking broke, um, fell over. Something is about to fall over and it's only because you are the magician. You have the tools in your toolbox to get you out of the situation and call it for what it is. Somebody wants to come and bring in your flowers, but it's only because they see you as the star. Nine of cups. And uh, there's no wish for fun for these people. So at the end of the day, they are feeling a little bit upset. Wow. Because nothing is working out for them. And unlike us, when shit goes crazy like this, we can always just clean it the fuck up. And these people don't know how to find solutions to the problems. They can't clean up their mess because they don't even know where the fuck it started from. They're not able to address the situations at hand and say, okay, maybe I am the issue. Maybe I am the problem. They won't do that. They want to project. Now, we're not perfect, guys. Nobody is. And this is why we have to take full accountability and responsibility for our actions before things get a little bit worse. Okay? Nine of Cups. Somebody was smug, arrogant. They thought they can manipulate you. I'm not going to lie. Look, page of Ariels. They thought they can manipulate you into missing out on this opportunity. Nine of Wands. And you'd be burdened. You would be broke and busted and you wouldn't be able to fight this war. You would lose this war. But ancestor spirit guides are not going to allow you to lose this battle, guys. They're not at all. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful new beginnings, guys. It says an excellent opportunity. To, it will be offered to you. Scholarships or a pursuit of education. Time to get to work. I'm telling you, these people really wanted you not to be able to work. To be able to put your talents out there. These people will never fucking give you the credit where credit is due. They'll never say you're doing a good job. They're never going to give you nothing other than a fucking headache. <laughs> and this is why you're like, fuck you, goodbye. You cut the cords and now karma is at play because you are the wounded warrior. It says stand determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities. Environmental activists, I'm telling you, these people did not want you to be an activist, did not want you to be standing up in your power to help a lot of people. But they're mad because they can't find a solution to their fucking problem. Like I said, their problem is you. <laughs> you are the problem. Ace of cups because you got the fucking love. You don't need no fucking body. You got the full cup. A positive and new emotional experience, fulfillment of romantic relationships, and deep, lasting spiritual insight. See? Even if people try to take from you, put you on, throw you under the bus, cheat you out of a fucking good time, take you out, the sun is always there. And because you're doing well for yourself, for the greater good, you're doing what is right, <laughs> you're always going to be protected because you are the star. The reason why people wanted to make you lose out on your dreams was because they knew that you were the healer. And that's why they're going through so much shit. They knew you were a healer at birth, the store. They knew that. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. So they wanted you to be a player. They wanted you to be in and out of things. They wanted you to be in your headspace. They wanted you to take your fucking self out is what it comes down to. And you refused. This is why you see these people as weak. And they can't find... Ish, um, they can't find solution to the problem. So you walked away, six of cups, because you know it's people from your past. They're, 
they're not going to ever give you reciprocity. They're breadcrumbers. And you have no nostalgic energies with them. Everything is being backfired. They tried to put you out. Well, they're getting the fucking put out. I'm telling you because you're the nine of pentacles. You're single, self-sufficient, independent. That's why these people are going through hell. They need to get it through their fucking head. That there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that they could do to stop you. As above, so below. These people ain't got no motherfucking protection as you got the protection. These people are cowards. They can't face you. All they can do is copy you. Ha <laughs> it is what it is. If you see it, you know it. You call those fucking Jezebel bitches out. And they're salty as fuck. Because there could be like six of them against you and there's only one of you and you're still more powerful than all those bitches. And that's why the end of the cycle happens, guys. Karmic lesson. All these people are going through major regret because they're all going to end up bu broke, busted it on their motherfucking ass because that's what they wanted for you. See? Five of Swords. They even actually ganged up. They Five of Swords is like doing anything. Like, trying to win at all fucking costs. Like, they really did try to win at all costs. And you still got the strength. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <laughs> I'm telling you, karma is hitting, and it's hitting hard for these two fakes motherfuckers. Because they thought that they can play in your fucking face and get you to be aimlessly wandering. Well, guess what? They're the ones who are aimlessly wandering because you got a positive new emotional experience here. You ain't about to fill nobody's motherfucking cup but your own. And if they come with a full cup, you will most definitely replenish them. But you ain't here to build no motherfucker. It's not build a nigga workshop and it's definitely not build a bitch workshop. So somebody needs to get their shit straight because you got the Ten of Pentacles either way, baby. Because you are anointed. And these rats are getting fucked up. I'm telling you, they're going to get caught in that motherfucking trap that they try to set for you. Because that's what rats do. They get caught the fuck up. Stitch. Niches get stitches, as it says, right? Well, guess what? Someone's about to lose their fucking shit. Lose their shit. Let's see what the oracle message is. The dream oracle and the, and the oracle deck. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. You took action. It says, take some form of action without regret. Examine what is holding you back from taking action and cut it loose. You will get the most immediate results through acting decisively. No maybes. Like I said here, you walked away from a situation and you're walking into something beautiful because you knew your worth. You knew that there was something different about you since birth. And you never understood why people were so two-faced. They'd act like they did things for you in public, but behind the scenes, they, they were fucking abusive. <laughs> you took action, guys. And these people are getting caught the fuck up, part of the deck. And it's because you had focus. You turned your gaze inwards. This is for enlightenment. Stay in the moment. Chop wood. Carry water. Avoid distractions. Meditate and bring unresolved issues into view. That's exactly what you did. You assessed the situation and you eliminated what was no longer good for you. You've seen it. You played the tape, guys. And the tape said, these people are shady. <laughs> Focus on yourself. Take the necessary actions to create the life that you want. Because these people, the life that they want for you is trash. They want you to be broke, busted, and disgusted. They want to laugh at you when you're down. They want to kick you when you're down. But when you're up, they're nowhere. They're nowhere. Why? Because they're salty. They're mad that you're somewhere. <laughs> they're mad that you're the leader. And people trust you. And they are untrustworthy because of their fucking actions. It is what it is, guys. Trust yourself in the universal plan for you. Do not give your trust to others lightly. When one door closes, another one opens. Like I said, you are trustworthy. You trust yourself and you trust people. A snake is a snake and a snake is a snake. You trust the fucking snake that the snake is going to bite you. It is what it is. Snakes usually just shed their skin to be bigger snakes. <laughs> Call it as it is, guys. You got that leadership fucking position. And somebody wants to play with you. Feed their inner child and surrender. It is what it is. It says, you are no longer a supporting cast. You are not a leading man or a woman. Take the initiative and lead the way for others to follow. You will be judged by the company you keep and those you admire. These fucking people are going to judge you anyways. Do what you need to do, guys, because somebody is about to fucking surrender. Put their hands up and say you won, because <laughs> at the end of the day, you're going to win. <laughs> surrender. Let go of all the internal and external struggles in your life. Give up the fight to control others and situations. Reclamish your need to be right and surrender to the higher power. That is exactly what you are doing. You are surrendering to the higher power. 
because somebody doesn't like the landscape that they're in. Landscape and places. Listen, somebody made their bed and now they got to fucking sleep in it. It is what it is. I remember my parents used to say that when I first got had my children because I, I worked home care. So I had a career before I had my children. But I gave my mom her job and I went on maternity leave. And then when it was time for me to go back to work, my parents told me, oh, you made your bed. Now you got to sleep in it. It's too bad. You wanted kids. Now you got to deal with it. But I was a single mother. Like I was a single mother. Their father was never there. I needed to make money, but I wasn't allowed because I didn't have anybody to watch them, which I'm grateful for because I raised them all on my own. They were never with babysitters or nothing. And I'm grateful for that, that people weren't there for me and my children. But at the end of the day, I see it. And now when people are having a really hard time and they want to give me shit, because they can't figure out their solution. I just say, hey, you made your bed. Now you got to sleep in it. You know, it sucks. But sometimes you got to be the bad guy in people's stories. You got to be the villain because they were a fucking villain to you in your whole life. It says, are you comfortable in your environment? Do you wish to explore new experiences and perspectives? And do you wish to escape from your present constraints? These people wish they can escape from their current situation. And... You don't want to escape from where you are. You love where you are because you chose to be where you are right in this moment. Even if you don't have everything, even if you can't give everything to the people that you want to give everything to, you have everything internally and everything is about to be given back to you. And these fucking spiritual thieves are about to get everything ripped right out of their motherfucking hands. <laughs> it's kind of exciting, actually. Starseed Oracle deck. Okay, guys, for my starseeds. Big picture thinking, polarity energies, visionary, and inspi inspired ideas. I'm telling you, you're inspiring somebody to walk the fuck away, walk right through this portal, and right into some beautiful blessings. But you're also having people walk into this portal, walk right into the dark night of the soul. I'm telling you, you are a spiritual savage. You slay demons for a living. So let them come to you because you will put them right in their motherfucking place. Right in their fucking place. Yeah, someone's being cracked open. They're hitting rock bottom. They're surrendering to alchemy of life. You told them to be careful with you. But they didn't want to. They really thought that you were going to be the one in rock bottom. <laughs> but you're the visionary. You've seen through all this shit. You looked at the patterns. You are the fucking butterfly. You are the star. And you got that ten of pentacles. You got the legacy. And ancestors are saying enough is enough. Is a fucking enough. Orchid. Orchid and... El um, or well, whale and orchid elders, now you are the elder. You're sharing your song, your story. You're sharing your frequency. And you're diving deep. You're showing people what it's going to take in order to end a cycle so that they too can have an happily ever after. Everything is coming full cycle, guys. It gets a little bit messy before it gets better. But guess what? You got that great cosmic serving. Mars energy, anger, conflict, and softening to love. Somebody's really, really mad. That no matter what, you're the elder now. And all these fucking so-called elders, they're just gatekeepers. They weren't helping nobody. They never were. And that's why they're mad at you because you remembered who the fuck you were. You got a soul plan here. The fated life versus the destined life. These people wanted to play God in your life. Well, guess what? God just showed the fuck up. <laughs> you got deep cellular healing and empathic star seed. Exactly. You're a star seed. You really think ancestors, spirit guides, God creator, the universe, raw, is really going to leave you out? Fuck no. It's about to burn people with the fucking truth because you got that energetic sovereignty. You are absorbing what's not yours. And people thought that by going near you, you were going to heal them. Like me, for instance, I'm a carrier. OK, so I never got chicken pox. So I carry things and I heal people just by being around them because that's what I do. And even as a child, I was like that. So my mother and my father would bring me places so that I could heal people. But then when it started to get where I'm talking back and standing up to myself and saying this doesn't seem right, then that's when they really, really tried to beat my blessings out of me, beat my gifts out of me. Aunties, uncles, cousins. Cousins tried to touch me, rape me. Uncles tried to touch me, rape me. All because of my energy. They knew that I was a healer, so they tried to do anything and everything to make sure that I didn't believe in myself, that I didn't love myself. These people want to hurt your feelings. They want to break your heart, but they don't realize that you being honest about that broken heart is what's manifesting beautiful miracles. And this is what gives you the strength to close those fucking doors that clearly people wanted to keep open. You got deep cellular healing, guys. 
You got that physical and emotional healing here. And somebody wanted you to go through hell because you are the real healer? It's fucked up, if you ask me. Ancestors, let's get some messages here. Yeah, somebody wants to negotiate with you. But the thing is, is they don't want to come in bargaining, man. They want, they're coming in begging for some kind of solution to this problem. Ancestors are making sure that you are doing well, that you are the healer. And yes, people wanted to come in and out and try to be, look, try to be fucking dogs. Yo, everybody, every dog's got its day. I'm telling you, somebody want, wanted to chase you, want to make you feel like you were being chased after, like you were never going to be able to pursue things. Well, guess what? Pony hunters are on these people's asses because your love is enchanting. Somebody adores you, admires you. And this is why you chose to walk away because you adored and admire your fucking self and people were in denial that you were always single self-sufficient. You never needed these people. You were always there to help them. They never fucking helped you. They didn't want to face the truth. They were very irrational when it came to this reasoning with you. But that's why they're running out of time. You put up your guards and you all have all the tools to have this successful new beginning. But people are stuck in lust and, and thought that you were going to be very lustful. I'm telling you. Somebody has a lot of chemistry for you. Sexual chemistry. But they see you're an alien. And that's why they're aimlessly wandering. Somebody doesn't feel like they have enough for you. But as long as they have love, respect, and they're able to build with you, that's all that fucking matters. It's not about money, guys. Somebody is sucking. Somebody is so used to this fucking Jezebel spirit. That they don't, they can't acknowledge when somebody is for them. Instead, they looked at you like a fucking forbidden love. Like you, because you're alien, because people are scared of you, because they don't know you, because you're not like very many people. You are, you're telepathic. Your dreams, your songs, I'm telling you, as a child, when I was sick, I used to get so sick. And my parents used to yell and scream at me because uh, I like, I, I scared them, you know, because of the things I seen and the energies i when before we moved into my mother's house my grandfather was laid out in that house and i seen my grandfather's body like i seen my grandfather standing right next to his his coffin and my cousins and aunties beat the fucking shit out of me at the funeral because i said that i seen him yeah that's what i got they called me a liar that i was just looking for attention this and that i don't even know who the fuck what the fuck? People are dumb. I was like, I was little. I think it was in like 2000 and, I mean, uh, 1993. Fuck, I was little. Yeah, look, see? These fucking clowns are threatened by you. These clowns are threatened by you, by your gifts. And they're all watching you, guys. They're all watching you. They really thought that you were a whore or Jezebel. You weren't. You were trying to fit in before, maybe. That's what it was. But you realize you can't fit in. You're a fucking star. You're an alien. You're never going to fit in. And somebody is recalling who the fuck you were. Somebody from your past, they see your past. A lot of people seeing what you had to go through. And they just watched. Didn't say nothing. Never stood up for you. And that's why you see these karmic third parties. The relationships. These people are learning crazy lessons. They should have paid attention to the signs and synchronicities. But instead, they want to fucking play with your ten of pentacles. Your legacy. You don't have to have money, guys. You just got that spiritual wealth that somebody tried to take from you as a child. And they couldn't do shit. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answers. Do what feels right. You knew the answer to the situation. You knew how to get yourself out of a situation. And it was through transformation. And because of your transformation, these people are embarrassed. They got egg on their face. There's all eyes on you. People are fascinated with your transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. You really transformed your relationship with people. You are not the same fucking person. If you... If people thought that you were naive or really sweet or something, well, you're not so fucking sweet anymore, guys. It is what it is. You are balanced. And somebody wants to have a reunion with you, maybe in the autumn time, because they're having a breakthrough, a epiphany. Somebody is very vulnerable right now. And it's only because of, like I said, your transformation. You completed something when people were in denial of you or who you were or how fucking single self-sufficient you were. I'm telling you, you never need anything from anybody. 
you did it all by yourself and that's why you don't ask for anything of anybody because you know that people always only offer things with thing with th strings attached there is no unconditional love here it's only fucking love of convenience when it's convenient for me a lot of deception and temptation and somebody wanted you to be in deception and temptation so that these bounty hunters can be on your ass so that the magic manipulation and the gang stalking can actually hit. But it can't. Your love is too fucking full. Your cup is overflowing. You got that purity and you're able to heal others. So if you're able to heal others, you're fucking right. You can heal yourself, which means that nothing will ever stick. Look, because you got balance, you go with the flow and you are the healer. You healed your inner child. You healed what these people tried to make sure that you would never heal. You have a happy ending, guys. And hands down, these people are going to get what they deserve. Spiritual thieves need to fucking bow down to your gangster. Because, fuck, you are ranked in the spiritual world way higher than these motherfuckers ever would be. They ever dreamed to be. It's a time for healing, guys, and you are showing people to hold your vision. Hold your vision, my beautiful collective. Embrace the flow of life because it is healing time. This um, eclipse season is showing everybody who's been in the deceptions, temptations, trying to block your forward movement. We have Aries, Gemini, and that's it, okay? But then there's a whole other bunch out there, so take it as it resonates. There is a fiery climax approaching. Maybe for an Aries, take it as it resonates. But it's time to breathe out. Take a breath. Embrace the flow of life. Understand and hold your vision. It's about end goal, guys. Fuck what everybody else wants for you because at the end of the day, they live their life and they're mad that their life is not anything that they wanted. They didn't go towards their dreams. Anybody who has a future, they are going to try to stop it. But it's irrelevant. You have the magician. You have the tools in your toolbox. So I hope this resonates. Let's get some Carly own deck before I close the reading. Wow. Okay. So yeah, there's a dramatic change here. You cut somebody off because they try to break your fucking heart with deceptions. Friends, family, acquaintances, lovers. I'm telling you, they were fucking malicious and they ganged up. Oh, really? They ganged up because they knew that you were at peace. They acted like they were a peaceful visitor coming in to give you some, you know, flowers or love. But at the end of the day, they just wanted to break your heart. This is why you're waiting for somebody who is really peaceful and you're going to use your intuition to know what is right for you and what is not. It's the four of cups because you loved on yourself enough. You're bored of the status that people are in. You're bored of the situations that you are in. Friends, family, acquaintances, there is no fucking reunion, guys, because of the injustice. Somebody wanted to fucking play you for a fool, play right in your fucking face, and you balanced out the energies. It is what it is. Now these people are going to have to go through legal affairs, whether this is 3D law or 5D law. Somebody's court is in session. This shit's going to fucking trial, guys. Devil in reverse. These people tried to restrict you, but you have no codependencies, no addictions, no bondages, nothing. And these fucking hellhounds know that a lot of people were doing a lot of shit in the dark. It's like, you know, say it's a spiritualist or, or somebody in religion, you know, they act like they're also holier than fucking thou, but behind the, their back, they're on, shh, let's do some black magic on them to try to block their blessings. Let's take from them so that they don't look like, they don't feel like the star, but you're the healer. You have faith in the higher power and the sun god Ra is there protecting you. These people can't attach anything to you and everything they're trying to attach to you is being ricocheted back onto them. Heart of the deck. See what I mean? Three of pentacles. Nothing is working. This group, this collaboration, the, the, this fucking people who tried to get you fired or put out, this organization, take it as it resonates. These people, they did. They teamed up. It was a group effort, a collaborative effort. And they all fucking fell right on their motherfucking face. Because look, <laughs> you still got that ten of fucking pentacles. Is it the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. See what I mean? You still got a marriage and inheritance coming in. And yeah, it's the fucking Nine of Swords. Somebody's in a lot of anxiety because it's clock time, guys. Tick tock. Yeah, someone can't eat, can't sleep because, yo, you got a peaceful visitor coming in. And whoever tried to break your heart, well, your heart ain't going to be broken any longer because you're the healer. You healed that shit, guys. Someone is so mad because they got no passion for life because their choices were their choices. And now they got to sleep in that bed. It is what it is, guys. That's what people tell you. Well, that's what you're telling people now. Four of Swords. Rest. 
Heal. Take the fucking time out. Do the evaluating. Understand that most of your problems are your fucking problem. Stop projecting onto other people. Ancestors, let's get some messages from the Hermit Oracle deck. And it says, I left because you told me to. You are the star. This person was not able to heal with you, was not able to heal you. When, if anything, like I said, they gave you a fucking headache. They gave you more drama. So you told them to leave. You had the right to. You have the anointing. This is your life. This is my life started when I met you. This is why somebody needs to heal. These people, their life started when they met you because you put them into overdrive. You are pressure. You are pressure. Somebody needs more balance in their life and you bring balance to a situation. Ace of Wands, to clarify that Ace of Wands in reverse. See, these people didn't want you to have a new beginning. They want you to fall on your face. They wanted you to have a dramatic change and everything be cut off from you. Social environments, everything. So that people could see you as a bad person. But you're not a bad person, not at all. That's why you're getting a brand new opportunity and it could be a big dick and a jake. It is what it is. Do you see me that way? Now, this person... Could be insecure because you may not see them the, that way that they see you. But it's only because they're selfish. Somebody is being selfish. Now, you may need to be a little bit fucking selfish, okay? Because these people really don't care about your mental health or your livelihood or your well-being or your children's or nothing. So you need to do what you need to do. And some you may not see somebody in that way because of, I don't know. Something that needs to be healed. But the 13 is here, guys. It's into the woods. And then 13 reduced down to a 4. So there is stability coming in. It's through the woods. But you had to eliminate yourself and go towards your own healing. It's a single journey, guys. But sometimes when you walk away from what's no longer serving you, knowing that those people will not help you, you do walk into something beautiful. 13, through the, path, uh, through the woods. Change, new path, and decision. You may feel that you have been pushed into a situation that you no longer wish to be in. Changing your path and looking for a better option should not make you feel guilty. Following your heart may take a certain amount of bravery and courage to make the changes you desire, but now is the time to look at your options. If you feel you are running away from a situation, don't be afraid to question the motives of those around you who may expect a different outcome. Remember, this is your life to live as you choose. You have the power to do and be whatever you want. If your gut feeling is telling you something is not quite right, then now is the time to make changes for the better. You have the power to make the right choices. Time to make a decision, guys. Everybody has a decision and everybody has a, a chance to make the right choices. And they are. They're making the choices for themselves. So let's get one healing message. Okay, we got the cedar, okay? So cedar is one of the medicines in my um, culture. Okay, so somebody may want to take a cedar bath, have a cedar tea, white cedar. Cedar's caring and compassionate energy creates deep sense of security and protection. Cedar brings balance to our lives by helping us heal our ancestral le lineage. It reminds us the value of selfless service. See, people are mad because you have selfless service. You do this because it's the right fucking thing to do. And you're healing your ancestral le lineage. This is why you got the protection and they can't fucking touch you. They are mad that you're the star because the star's all over my board guys 10 10 it's divine timing that you get this legacy coming in okay 10 10 i love you guys i hope this resonates don't forget to like comment subscribe yes they're gonna try to hold on to you but look everything is okay 10 of swords is in reverse you have healed from this betrayal this backstabbing this energy this karmic fucking shit and these people need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because you're done and they need to respect your gangster i'm telling you these spirits